So I've spent over a year building the Ryzen Shogun because she is my favorite character in this game. In terms of gameplays, looks, and just her overall existence is amazing, man. So today I'll be doing a Ryzen Shogun showcase. I'll be going over stuff like her weapon choices, artifacts, constellations, and just her overall play Ryzen entirely. This is a showcase and not specifically a guide. So without further ado, let's get on with the Ryzen Shogun showcase. Starting off with my Ryzen Shogun stats, she has around 2,300 attack, she has 74 crit rate, 130 crit damage, and 290 energy recharge and she has 76 electro damage bonus because of the high ER she has because our ER converts into electro damage weapon engulf and lightning artifacts or emblem as per usual constellation c2 i was gonna get c3 but uh <laughs> reasons and of course triple crown for a weapon i was using the catch before i got engulf and lightning which is a very good polar the issue is getting this weapon is such a pain in the butt because you have to go through so much suffering and so much pain in an activity that should be casual and relaxing but no they made fishing the most tedious and annoying task ever artifacts or emblem i was lucky to get a good or emblem set on her flowers pretty good feather could use some work because it has hp and i probably could get one that has er stands pretty good er of course and i have attack percent goblet some people will build right differently depending on what build they have available some people will have energy recharge on the sands or electro damage bonus on, on the goblet they have either energy recharge or attack percent or they have attack percent and electro damage bonus i'm using e on attack percent because getting an electro damage bonus goblet that's like you know pretty good with these substats is quite rare my best electro damage goblet is this thing and she has a crit rate hat the hat's okay it has a lot of er and some crit damage then there's c2 i was gonna get c3 but reasons we won't go into c1 to 3 is more for like her on field like performance and c4 and 6 are more for support riding just know she does not need constellations to be playable she can be playable at C0 and still do her job. If you don't care about crowning characters, just focus on leveling up her skill and her burst. Don't level up her auto attack. Her auto attack is kind of useless, so don't worry about that. I just leveled it up because I'm a simp for this character. One thing people overlook from this skill is that this skill can actually buff people's elemental burst damage based on the energy recharge, which is pretty nice, I will say. And her burst, which we know is really freaking broken. I like this burst. It makes her eyes look pretty, so that's the reason. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of my Raiden build entirely. In terms of team comms and how I play Raiden, I play her in two different ways, but mostly I play her as an on-field damage dealer. My favorite team to run with Raiden so far is definitely this Raiden hyper carry team, which you have three characters being Kazuha, Ben, and Kujosara, just buffing Raiden and making her do as much damage as possible. The other team, which is known to be like a really strong meta team, is Rational or Raiden National, which consists of Shangling, Bennett, and either Xingqiu or Yolan. You can swap between the two. I just use Yolan more because I like Yolan. Now for mainly off-field Raiden. This is one team I like playing her with, which is Yoya Mia, because Yoya Mia and Raiden are a really nice combo. I also like running this team of Raiden, which focuses on dendro-based reactions such as Hyper Bloom, Aggravate, and Spread. These nuts. You can also run Raiden on four Gilded Dreams as like an EM off-field or on-field damage dealer, which is pretty fun. Speaking of combos, Yula and Raiden are a really nice combo together. Raiden can allow Yula to proc Superconduct really consistently and give some energy recharge to Yula, which is really helpful for a burst. And for memes, running four Archon at once because why not and then of course if you are a fan of Amiko I just run this team as well and this team also works perfectly fine now that I've showed you how I play the character and her builds and what teams I play her in let's show you my Raiden Shogun's potential and how much damage she can do okay so how I normally play Raiden if I want to hit like big numbers I'll normally just buff up everyone else first to charge up her ultimate and then use her ult once everyone buffs her down and once I charge that full as I heard does his thing my bob And then Bennett ults, Kujasara does her stuff, her ultimate, put this thing down. 413,000 damage without any buffs and just in the overworld. That's pretty good. Let's see how much damage I can do with buffs entirely. Let us go in. That's a swell. Bennett buff. Four hundred fifty-six k. Not much of a difference, but it's still pretty high. I was. That's a lot of damage. Also, one more thing about Ryan, how I normally play her. I don't wait for her charge to be full. Normally, how you charge the ring around her is you spam other people's burst. The ring gets to full, so you can burst down with like a lot of damage. But I think most people who play Ryan, including myself, once her burst is up, we just press Q and call it a day. Now I think it's time to test out my Ryan's damage against two specific bosses. That being Gara and the puppet herself. Both of them have phases where they enter a state where they are weakened 
second and take more damage. So I want to test out my Raiden's damage against those two. What's up, Scar? Your mum said to punish you for being a naughty boy. A few moments later. All right, it's time. Let's do this. First of all, Raiden E. Kazaha sucks. And the birds come. Then it burst. Six hundred, <laughs> six hundred and sixty-eight thousand damage. <laughs> this is with food buffer. I think without food buffer, it's like probably five hundred k or something or four hundred k. Who knows? Now it's time you do right. For this one, I won't use food buffs like the scar fight, just to make things a little bit more interesting. I also have to hold back, otherwise I'll kill this, this shogun, which I don't want to do. One eternity later. All right, right an E, Kazaha, Bennett ult. <laughs> Nice. 517k without any food buffs and against the Raiden Shogun boss. That's pretty good. I might as well end the video here in this beautiful blue plane of view find me Thanks for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this one. And check out my other social medias and streams on Twitch and all other jazz and baz and has and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out and stay hydrated.